Sage Wanderer here coming at you from my van down by the river. So shut it down, shut it all down, shut everything down, we don't care. So if you're like me, you watched in stunned amazement yesterday as uh, Schumer and Pelosi tried to tag team the president. Well, you know, nobody is going to pick on this president. Nobody's going to corner this president. Nobody is going to make a fool of this president. He's just too good. He's just too good at the game. He will flip it around on you. Uh, you know, all of those many years of doing business and being a top uh, scale businessman has sure paid off for this guy because um, he just doesn't play by the same rules. Here they were trying to trick him into taking. I'm getting shorter. I'm getting shorter. Ah, let me fix my tripod. Here they were trying to trick him into accepting blame for the shutdown of the government, and he just stepped up and did it. <laughs> they were prepared to play the little crawfish game where you blame me and I blame you and it's your fault. No, it's your fault. No, it's your fault. No, it's your fault. And he just said straight up, I'll own that. I'll own that. You don't give me the funding for the wall. We'll shut it down. We'll shut it all down. And I think if you watch Schumer's face, when he finally got him to admit that, Schumer's like, yes, yes. Now I can blame him for the government shutdown. The thing is, the, the, the misconception with Mr. Schumer, and it's because he's so in touch with his own welfare base. Like, that's all he pays attention to is people who are on the government dole. He doesn't know that the rest of us don't give a flip. We hope the government gets shut down. All of the Trump supporters, all the people that voted for Trump, honestly, three quarters of us wish we'd just shut the whole thing down. I mean, think about it. When was the last time the national government did anything from you except take money out of your paycheck? Interstate system. Uh, I suppose we could use some money to maintain that. Um, but the state highway system is pretty well maintained in most states. And the interstate is only a few highways that run through the middle of things. I think the states could do just fine by taking over the, uh, the job of the federal government. Especially if they weren't having to collect all those taxes on behalf of the federal government and ship them off to, to Washington, D.C. And could use them locally in their own state to take care of their own roads and their own business. You hear that weird sound? That's my coffee. I don't even hear my coffee pots percolating. It's ready. My coffee's ready. Need some more coffee? <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, Schumer thinks that we're all going to get angry that the government was shut down. Please, the government's been shut down many times. I never felt it. I never felt it. I don't go to national parks. Uh, it's a good way to get disappeared. <laughs> that, that's for another video. That's for a coffee talk. We'll do the disappearances in the national parks. Uh, the, the National Forestry Service, I don't think they do anything but restrict my access to go up there and do what I want to do. They just, they just tell me what I can and can't do. The Bureau of Land Management, well, most of us in the West have no love for that group. Well, we can pretty much just do without them. What does the government do that I actually feel? I mean, when they say shut down the government, they're shutting down the civilian government. They're not shutting down the military. Um, I would pay taxes to pay for the military and not have a problem with it. Within reason, I don't want us off fighting all these foreign wars for no stupid reason, for some stupid politician's reasons, for some uh, corrupt politician's reasons. Um, you know, I have no desire to, to, to send our boys off to fight these ridiculous wars we've been fighting in foreign countries. But I believe in a strong military, and I believe we should have a strong military. I believe just most of them ought to be here. They ought to be garrisoned here. We ought to be here behind the wall. You know, we're going to need a northern wall before this is over. Um, Canada just signed on to the Migration Pact to the International Migration Pact. So uh, migrants from all over the, the third world are going to be pouring into Canada on an even more increased basis, which means that our northern border will soon be the problem once we get the wall up on the south side. So Trump and Pelosi, um, yeah, they sure got their butts handed to him. I mean, he just wiped the floor up with them, and it was fun to watch. I got to admit, it was just fun to watch. You know, Pelosi thinks she's so important. She really, she doesn't understand that the House of Representatives is kind of the junior league. That if you were real, if you were really uh, powerful, you'd be in the Senate. <laughs> There's so many congressmen, and they can't agree on much of nothing. And um, you know, they're really, they're not going to stop any real progress um, as far as judges and uh, appointments and things like that go. 
Now, can they plug up legislation and stop the whole process? Pelosi can just put a stop to it. She can just never call for a vote. She can just be obstructionist, which I expect she will. You know, she pretty much said as much that she's not going to send any kind of bill that, that the president would sign. That their, their goal, here's their goal in the new Congress, in the House of Representatives, is to make all of these left-wing ridiculous bills, send them to the Senate where the conservative mature lawmakers in the Senate will go... Pfft. And uh, if it does manage to get past the Senate somehow, uh, by hook or by crook, and uh, gets passed in the Senate, the, you know, Trumpster, he's just going to veto it. You know, what are they going to do? Try to take away his veto power? <laughs> he hasn't even really used it yet. He hasn't had to. So, really, Nancy Pelosi is probably one of the most powerless people in America who thinks she's powerful. She thinks she's really something. Uh, let's just wait and see if she even gets elected to the position of Speaker of the House. That would frighten me. That would put her third in the line for presidency. So all she's got to do is whack, the, is whack, uh, you know, POTUS and um, Vice POTUS, and um, then she's president. That's frightening. Don't, 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 Madam Pelosi, president. Oh my gosh, I'd probably move someplace. I don't know where. <clears throat> I'd secede from the union <laughs> if she was president. But, um, yeah, so, you know, P uh, Pelosi and Schumer really thought that the American people, the people that support Trump, are going to jump off of the Trump bandwagon and jump off of the wall bandwagon because the government might get shut down. We don't care if you don't get your midnight basketball. And honestly, most of us don't care if you don't get your welfare on time. We don't care if um, your little pet project, your little pet government project that you work for isn't going to be up and functioning. We'll shut it down indefinitely. Honestly, if I was president, I would reduce the size of government so small. Well, they'd call me a tyrant. They would accuse me of trying to destroy the United States of America. When really, I'm just trying to destroy this fat, bloated, oversized, ridiculous government. And you know what? They all are, are fat and oversized and ridiculous governments for the most part. I mean, what happened to the people governing, governing themselves? Why do we need all of this crud anyway? Why do we... I mean... Honestly, the federal government ain't nothing to me but a pain in the neck. And if it was up to me, I would just send them all home. Just send everybody home. Go get a real job. You'll actually have to work for a living. You won't be able to stand around and lean on your shovel anymore. You'll actually have to do something. So, if Schumer thinks that Trump supporters are going to get distraught or bent out of shape because Trump has shut down the government, he doesn't know. We'll all have a the government's been shut down party. Really, we'll all just have a great big party. Because most of us don't even know anybody that works for the federal government. And those that do work for the federal government work for the armed forces. That's who we know. And they're not going to miss a day at work. They're going to keep on working. Because the, the military doesn't get shut down. It keeps on trucking. So, <clears throat> are we going to be upset that the government gets shut down? Heck no. Shut it all down. The longer it's shut down, the more money we save. We save billions yeah, I mean, at least millions of dollars a day when this government is shut down that we just get to sit on the money. I mean, they're not spending any money. So I'm sorry if you're a federal employee, um, you know, then this may hurt you. You may get all mad at me because, you know, you're not going to get your money on time. But honestly, if it were up to me, you'd have to find a new job anyhow. Because here's the thing about a fat, bloated federal government. <laughs> it's going to be corrupted. It's going to be, by nature, corrupted. There's going to be payoffs. There's going to be criminal uh, undercurrents. There's going to be uh, positions of control and uh, abuses of power. It's just the nature of the beast. The bigger the beast is, the nastier it is. So if I was president, I'd shrink this beast. It wouldn't be nothing but the military and the wall and maybe some highway programs just to keep the interstates running, but I'd probably turn them over to the states and let the states and the people of the states keep their dang money. So, Schumer, shut it down. We don't care. You want to blame it on Trump? Trump's going to take credit for it. You know, he'll take credit for saving us millions of dollars a day in a government shutdown. Shut it down. Keep it shut down. Shut it down for good. We don't care. We don't like the government. Haven't you figured that out? We sent him up there to drain the swamp and to get rid of all you fat monsters laying around eating on our dime. 
laying around eating and getting yourselves all fat and, and, and all your beds all padded and your homes all gilded with gold uh, on our dime, on our shoulder, on our work. So, uh, yeah, the heck with the federal government. Who needs them anyway? Shut them down. Shut them all down. God save our republic, which uh, is at the core of this thing, because the rest of it's a one great big giant fat pig that's just laying on top of our republic. So God save our republic, and let's peel this fat pig of bureaucracy off the top of it. Shut the government down. Who gives a flip, honestly?